Jesus was in the synagogue. This is a building similar to our churches today. It was the Sabbath, a weekly Jewish day of rest. No one works on this day. Instead, people gather to learn about God. Some people who did not like Jesus and were searching for a reason to accuse him brought a man to Jesus. This man had a shriveled hand, and they asked Jesus, Is it allowed to heal on the Sabbath? Jesus knew that they were trying to accuse him of healing the man because according to their law, this was not allowed. So, he asked them, What if one of your sheep falls into a pit on the Sabbath? Do you leave it down there for the day? No! You get it out even though it is work and is not allowed. This man is worth way more than a sheep. He then turned towards the man. Stretch out your hand. In that moment, it was healed and was able to be used again. The people trying to accuse him were so angry from what he did that they planned to kill Jesus. Jesus went to a lake with his disciples and a big crowd followed him. People from many different places came because they heard about the amazing things he was doing. Jesus healed many sick people and they wanted to be near him. Because of the crowd, he asked his disciples to have a small boat ready so people wouldn't push too close. When people with evil spirits saw Jesus, they shouted, You are the Son of God. But Jesus told them not to tell anyone who he was. One day, Jesus went up on a hill to talk to God for a while. When he returned, he chose twelve of his friends and called them apostles which was a term used for important ambassadors. The men he chose were Simon Peter, his brother Andrew, James and his brother John, Philip and Nathaniel, Thomas, Matthew the tax collector, James, Thaddeus, Simon the rebel, and Judas Iscariot. One day, Jesus was teaching a group of people about God. His mother and his brothers came to the house that he was in. They had heard about the things he was doing and saying. They thought he was going crazy and they wanted to stop him. One of the friends of Jesus, who he called disciples, informed Jesus that his siblings and his mother were waiting outside. Jesus responded, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Aren't they the people who listen to God's words and follow him? You are my family because you trust in God. Jesus often freed people from evil spirits. Some people accused him of this, you can only drive out these spirits because you have a much stronger evil spirit within you that they have to obey. If evil spirits drove out other evil spirits, what would that achieve? It's like leaders of a country fighting each other. That can't last long. Eventually, they have to work together or their whole country won't work and will eventually fall apart. No, only God himself has the power to drive out these spirits, and I get this power from him. 